Michael Burton Brown. That man is a legend in many ways. That man is a four-time NBA champ and a two-time coach of the year. But he's also, we like to call it, get the bag legend. See, the Cavs and Lakers will pay him at the same time after firing him. Then the Cavs bring him back, pay him again. He goes up to become the Warriors assistant coach, beats the Cavs in the NBA finals while the Cavs were still paying him. And he might be the Forrest Gump of the NBA. He coached Matumbo when he was with the Nuggets, but also had Bison Daly, who went on to become one of the most famous disappearing cases in U.S. history. He moves on from there to meet up with Chris Webber and Jawan Howard when they do the Fab Five reunion for what was called the Washington Bullets, which then became the Washington Wizards while he was there. He meets Darvin Ham, the current Lakers coach, and Tim Laker from ESPN. He was there with Duncan, Ginobili, and Parker. Even David Robinson was there. Steve Kerr was actually still a player in the league when Mike Brown was coaching. Danny Ferry, before he was a GM, was also on that bench when he was coaching. But speaking of benches, he was at the biggest brawl in NBA history, the Malice in the Palace. Yeah, he's one of the assistant coaches if it's actually holding Artest back on the court. He gets to coach young LeBron, Shaq, the infamous Delonte West, gets the Lakers job where he gets to coach Kobe and Gasol. Derek Fisher and Matt Barnes are on that team. They still were friends going to each other's house. Gets to go coach young Kyrie in Cleveland with Anthony Bennett who might have been the biggest bust in NBA history. Everything comes full circle. He's right there with coach Steve Kerr, Steph, Clay, Draymond. He's right there when the KD and Draymond beef happens. He gets the head coach job for the Sacramento Kings. Makes history. Becomes the first unanimous coach of the year in NBA history. Let's see what this legend, Michael Burton Brown, does going forward. Give him his flowers.